hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet a lantern so to make this i have used double crochet stitches and front post double crochet stitches and chain stitches and did total 11 round to get this size you can use this lantern in number of way for your crochet decoration you can place this tea light inside this lantern and you can hang it or you just put this lantern above this tea light or you can use this lantern like this also so before we start to make this lantern i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to crochet this lantern so to make this here i'm going to use this cotton yarn and for this cotton yarn i'm going to use crochet hook of size 3.0 mm you will need some medium size balloon stitch marker needle and scissor so take your thread and make a ring here i'm going to use a magic ring So once you have a ring, we are going to work on that ring. So first we are going to make chain 3. So this chain 3 is going to be count as our first double crochet stitches. Now we are going to make 15 double crochet into that ring. Now we are going to place the balloon inside that ring. So we have placed the balloon inside that ring. Now take your hook on top of a starting chain 3 and here make one slip stitch. Now in round number 2, make chain 3. This is our first double crochet stitch. Then make chain 1. Then take your hook on top of next double crochet. Here make 1 double crochet. Then chain 1. Then work on next stitch. Here make 1 double crochet. Then make chain 1 like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch and complete round number two once you made the last chain one take your hook on top of a starting chain three and here make one slip stitch So we have 15 double crochet stitches and 15 chain 1 space and round number 2 is done. Now in round number 3, make chain 3, then work. Now we are going to make the front post double crochet stitch. So, so we are going to work around the next double crochet. So grab the thread, insert your hook from back to front like this. Now grab the thread, pull from under that stitch so you will have three loop now grab the thread pull from first two loop then next two loop so this is our front post double crochet stitch then make chain two then work around next double crochet stitch work and make one front post double crochet So after one front post double crochet work in next space here make one double crochet then work around next double crochet here make one front post double crochet then make chain two so in round number three we are going to repeat this stitches work around next double crochet make one front post double crochet 
then work in next space here make one double crochet then work around next double crochet here make one front post double crochet then make chain two so like this repeat this stitch make one front post double crochet then in next space make one double crochet then work in next double crochet make one front post double crochet chain two like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch and complete round number three so when you reach to the starting chain three top of that make one slip stitch so round number three is done now in round number four make chain three then work around next front post double crochet and here make one front post double crochet then chain three then work around next front post double crochet and here make one front post double crochet then work on top of next double crochet here make one double crochet then work around next front post double crochet here make one front post double crochet then chain three so in round number four we are going to repeat this stitches work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then work on top of next double crochet make one double crochet then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then chain three like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch So round number four is done now in round number five make chain three then work around next front post double crochet here make one front post double crochet now make chain four now again we are going to repeat this stitches work in next front post double crochet work around that front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then work on top of next double crochet make one double crochet then work around next front post double crochet here make one front post double crochet this time make chain four so in round number five we are going to repeat this stitch after chain four work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then work on top of next double crochet make one double crochet then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then chain four and work till your last stitch when you reach to starting chain three here make one front post double crochet then top of chain three make one slip stitch and complete round number five then in round number six again make chain three then work around this front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then make chain five then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet one double crochet and one front post double crochet then chain five 
so like this you need to complete the round number six also so i will finish my round number five and six so i'm done with round number six we have chain five space then one front post double crochet one double crochet then one front post double crochet then chain five space now in round number seven make chain three then work around next front post double crochet here make one front post double crochet then make chain four after chain four work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then work one double crochet top of next double crochet then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then chain four in round number seven we are going to repeat this stitches after chain four make one front post double crochet one double crochet and one front post double crochet then chain four like this repeat this stitches and work till your last front post double crochet stitch and complete round number seven so round number seven is done now in round number eight make chain three then work around next front post double crochet here make one front post double crochet then make chain three then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then work on top of next double crochet here make one double crochet then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then chain three so in round number eight we are going to repeat this stitches after chain three make one front post double crochet one double crochet and one front post double crochet then chain three like this repeat this stitches and work till your last front post double crochet stitch so round number eight is done and round number nine make chain three then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then make chain two after chain two work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then work on top of next double crochet make one double crochet then work around next double crochet front post double crochet make one front post double crochet chain two so in round number nine we are going to repeat this stitches after chain two make one front post double crochet one double crochet one front post double crochet then chain two like this repeat this stitches and work till your last front post double crochet stitch and complete round number nine so round number nine is done we get this shape now in round number ten make chain three then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then chain one after chain one work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet
then top of next double crochet make one double crochet then work around next front post double crochet make one front post double crochet then chain one so in round number 10 we are going to repeat this stitches after chain one make one front post double crochet one double crochet one front post double crochet then chain one like this repeat this stitches and work till your last front post double crochet stitch and when you reach to starting chain three top of that make one slip stitch and complete round number 10 so round number 10 is done and we get this shape and structure now in round number 11 and this is our last round we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so take your hook top of first stitch here make one single crochet then on next stitch one single crochet then on next stitch one single crochet So like this make one one single crochet and work till your last stitch and complete round number 11 so i worked one one single crochet top of each stitch now just take your hook on top of first stitch make one slip stitch then on next stitch make one slip stitch now just pull this thread and cut with some margin so we are done with this lantern now just fill the air to this balloon to give a round shape so i have filled the air and you can see we get this shape now i am going to do this liquid starch to my work so if you do the starch you will get the shape like this it's a hard shape it get dry you just stitch this thread to this end to give a shape of a lantern basket so i hope you have learned from this video if you have any questions or query please do let me know in comment section so see you in my next video till then bye bye take care